So on sharp pointed tail, not a dangerous snake. If you see a snake that has stripes, like this snake uh, has kind of camouflage stripes, but stripes nonetheless, yes, he will spray you. That's right. What, uh, that's one of their defensive mechanisms. I don't know how many people might have picked up a garter snake in the past. And if they feel threatened, uh, they actually spray, squirt, or, or rub, and they have musk glands underneath their anal web plates there in which they will rub <clears throat> that stuff. And for instance, say here comes a coyote, spots a snake like this, and so he squirts, sprays that on the coyote, but the coyote with a very sensitive nose says, ooh, boy, that stinks. He <laughs> said, if I tried to eat that snake, it tastes so terrible, so he turns the snake loose, and the snake loose to see another day. Right. Correct, this is the western hog nose. This is your young adult. They get a little bit bigger than this. They uh, freak out a lot of people. <laughs> Uh, it's unbelievable that the amount of people that call and tell us, hey, we just found a rattless rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> They'll actually roll over on their back, open their mouth, play dead. They have blood poppers in their throat, and they will spit out blood. I mean, it's amazing wow. the, what they will go through to uh, convince a predator not to eat them. This is the corn snake. Okay. This is what is very typical, but they generally come from the back east, Florida, to the Carolinas, that's where you see these. <clears throat> this is the native corn snake in New Mexico. He's also the Great Plains rat snake. Rat snakes and corn snakes are closely related. If you look at his face, he's got the same markings across his eye as the furry rattler does. You can see the mask over his eyes. So if you go into the condo zone area where there's red rocks, the snake will adapt and have a more reddish color. If you go down to Conscious or Coach T Lake in the green grass, the snakes will be extremely green, really green. If you go south of Socorro in the lava rocks, they'll be almost a coal black. Same kind of snake, but different uh, uh, colorations. This is the full snake, that's right. Wow, that's a big one. Well, they get bigger than this. The book says they'll get to eight feet. Wow. Even though he doesn't have rattles, he will shake that tail because the pattern on his tail Fakes out a lot of people so thinking, oh, he's got to have rattles. But he uh, has a round head, right? And rattles fine. Right, but when he gets excited, I mean, he yeah. extends that jaw. Oh, so it's looks very like a cool. Yeah, oh, it's okay. unbelievable yeah. to see that. If anybody's seen one in a while, they are, they are very, uh, uh, <laughs> very obvious. Yeah. Point is, is that, uh, uh, you know, 99% of the time you're going to run into the, the, uh, the native species. This is the western diamondback, also known as the coontail rattler. He has the black and white rings. It distinctively has a diamond shaped pattern. These, these snakes are the largest of the rattlesnakes snakes we have in New Mexico. Look at how dark his tail is. Sorry, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.